Okay, uh, so last uh, lecture of this week, so that uh, how to modify table, or specifically how can we insert data into uh, tables, how to update uh, tables, and also how to delete records from tables. So actually, it's pretty straight, straightforward. And uh, basically, we just need to define all the uh, actions by using the corresponding SQL statement. And next, we just pass that SQL statement to the cursor. So cursor will execute, execute that SQL statement. So it can either delete, update, or insert. However, different, uh, for, different from the query is that you need the connection to commit that change. Otherwise, uh, the change will not be saved into a database. So you need one more step that is commit that change. So we can use cursor to execute that SQL statement. You can also use pandas. Uh, however, personally, I would use cursor because uh, since you already defined that statement in SQL pretty clear, so I don't think that uh, why you need pandas. Uh, however, you can use uh, pandas to query the data to see to check the changes. So, for example, once once you have made some change on a table, you can always just select that um, records from that table, select all the records, and also you can always check whether or not uh, your, um, your update or your delete or your insert was success. Uh, so keep in mind that um, when we define the modifying statement, so the because we need to tell the value, sometimes like in this case, like insert and also update, and also delete, you need to find in the where clause, you need to tell the values. So the, if the values are strings, you have to tell the values, you have to give them those single quotation mark. Okay, uh, so the best practice is that I would use the string format. So here you can see I put the string format as a placeholder, so surrounded by those single quotation mark. And the entire SQL statement, I use a triple double quotation mark. Okay, a triple double quotation mark. And next, I use dot format. So here, I replace those uh, curly bracket with the true values. Like the first will be the student email, um, the student name, and our student major. Okay, so this is a the preferred way that how you pass values into SQL statement. And also in the next week, we are going to collect data from different resources and also use SQL. And also we need pass variables to the, uh, to the SQL statement. So the string format will be very, very important. OK, so let's see that example in our notebook. Uh, so here I'm going to start a new section called Modify Tables. Uh, so I'm just going to use one uh, um, SQL statement, so insert as an example. So let's say SQL uh, insert equals, because for the update and also delete, uh, uh, it's it's the same procedure, but for update and also delete, make sure you don't forget the where clause. Okay, so this is an SQL statement. Here I use insert as an example. So if you recall the syntax, it is insert into your table. So here I'm using my student table, which is in my schema that is called demo. So if you want to modify your table, you should choose the schema as your schema. And in my student table, I have three columns. So student email, name, and also major. Um, and here I have provided the corresponding values in the same order. So the first will go to email, second go to name, the third go to major. And dot format. So here I use the string format. So again, the first value, the email will go to the first replace the first curly bracket, which will go to the email. The student name will replace the second curly bracket, will go, which will go to the student name. And GS will replace the third um, 
a curly bracket which will go to the major. So actually what you can do is that you can just print that SQL statement and see how it looks like. So here we are going to execute this SQL statement. So you can say insert into demo student. Okay. Uh, next, let's execute that statement. So we are using cursor dot execute that statement. So if we are using cursor, we don't need to provide the connection info. And next, let's commit, which is connection dot commit. And so if you have errors, you will see the errors here. So for example, all the constraints, all the relationships, integrities, uh, rules that you defined still, or you have followed those rules. So if you violate those constraints, those rules, you will have errors. So hopefully here, I don't have any error. Okay, so that means I don't have any error. And that means it went through. So however, if I want to check whether or not I did insert this one, so let me do it again. So let's use the data frame. So it calls handers dot read SQL query. So here, because the SQL query is pretty simple, so I just type it directly in this uh, parentheses, select everything from demo dot student. And I also need to provide the connection. And now let's see the data frame. Okay, so I did see that the S3, uh, S5 was inserted. And if I just want to see the last one, because normally the last one will be the inserted one, so you can just run it like this. Okay, you can see that S5, student S5 is now inserted, is there. So as I said, all the previous rules and all constraints will still take place. So for example, if I want to insert this record one more time, I should have an error. So for example, if I define the same query and I execute, execute that query, and now you can see that duplicate key violation because this one still exists. Okay, so that means you cannot insert that a record again. Okay, so which is pretty nice. So if we change that one to S6, and this one will be student six. Now if you try to insert, um, okay, so transaction is aborted. So resolve that error, what we can do is that we have to roll back the cursor. So it's kind of like on lock the cursor. So let's say we say cursor roll back. And next we commit that change. Oh commit. Commit that change. And now if we uh, try to execute this statement, now you can see it worked. And now if we want to check uh the last inserted, so it is S6, okay? So when you have errors, when you, you need, in Python, you have to roll back those errors. So if you have errors. Okay, finally, so when you're done with uh, um, Python to modifying or querying your data, so you need to close those connections uh, promptly so that we can release the resources. Um, so the code that close those connections will be that cursor.close and also connection.close. So once you release those connect, close those connections, you can save your resource and also it's safe. So it's a secure. So, so if you leave your computer and someone else wants to access your database, and they cannot because the connection is closed. Okay, so let's close that uh, connection. So that's the last part close connections. Uh, so the syntax is cursor dot close. And you can run both uh, in the same cell and connection dot close. Okay, so now you just release the connection of your to your database. Um, 
and which is the recommended way. Okay, make sure we save this notebook and let's close that notebook. And you can also shut this kernel down so you can shut this notebook down. Okay, and remember SageMaker is not free, so it is costing our uh, credit cards. Or not credit cards, but our free credits. And now if we go to the GPT lab, so we can see that we did make a change. So we, we acknowledge that change to be staged. And here we add some other description of this change. So we learn how to query and modify tables in database. And we commit that change and we push that change. Okay, so that was success. Um, and next, if I go to my lab uh, repository, uh, you can see this was updated. So if I open the notebook, and you can see that we, what we did, and even with those visualizations, so that's pretty cool. Okay, uh, so this code is available here, so you can just click, uh, go to my GitHub, so the repository that we I just created, and you can check my lecture note. Uh, you can also push your notebook to GitHub if needed, and I highly recommend you do that. So because after this class, after the, this semester, you will have multiple notebooks, and you can share with your employees and employers, and also you can um, save that one as your note, so that later you can check how to do that again. The last thing that remember that you we should also turn off our SageMaker instance because every time when the SageMaker is running, it is costing the money. So we should save, we should turn off the SageMaker by saving the money. So here, once we have the notebook published to the GitHub, and we can close. Those, um, okay, so it is expired. So let's just log in here again. Okay, to our console. And also SageMaker. And you will see that even you log it out, so your instance is still running. You can see that your instance is still running. So let's check that one. And go to Actions and let's stop, okay. So once it has been stopped and uh, it will stop charging your uh, credits so that it can save us credits. Okay, so while it is stopping, so you can just safely log out um, your SageMaker. And also here, if we refresh our classroom and you can see how many credits that we have, we still have. And we should be fine for this semester.